Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about once again über Laplace transforms. We're going to take a look at the Laplace transform of the first derivative of some time dependent function, f prime of t. Hmm. What could we do at first? Maybe we could use the definition of the Laplace transform on this one. That would be a great idea, I guess. So, the Laplace transform is just the improper integral from 0 to infinity of f prime of t times e to the minus st times dt. And maybe you'll notice, or maybe you don't, we should integrate this by using integration by parts. That's the easiest thing, I guess. So, f prime of t should be integrated right here and e to the minus st should be differentiated. You will see why in a second. So we need something to differentiate and something to integrate. Plus minus, don't forget that. So let's integrate f prime of t. So that would mean that this integrated is just f of t. And let's differentiate e to the minus st. Well, this is just minus s times e to the minus st. Okay, and now we multiply those together and then we write the integral of this one next to it, we are going to add it. So, this is equal to e to the minus st times f of t from 0 to infinity. Minus and minus becomes positive, so that's just plus the improper integral from 0 to infinity of s times e to the minus st times f of t times dt. And then we are nearly done. Hmm. It, maybe this right here looks kind of familiar because if we use the linearity of the integral, we bring this s to the outside and then this integral right here is just a capital F of s. So we assume that this Laplace transform does exist. So we can write this integral right here as s times capital F of s. So let's conclude what we've got at first. So this is f times capital F of s. That's nice. We derived this in the last video. Take a look in the description if you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there will be a link to the corresponding video. Okay, now we should just plug the limits in to this function right here. So, plus, that's the limit as t approaches infinity of e to the minus st times f of t and then minus e to the minus s. Okay, so t becomes zero right here, so that's minus s times 0 and times f of 0. That's great. Hmm. So this one right here is kind of easy. e to the minus s of 0, uh, s times 0 is just 1. So this is just f of 0. So what you can conclude is that this is equal to s times capital F of s minus f of 0. And now, as always, we have to take a look at the convergence of this whole thing. So under which condition does this term right here converge. So we let t approach infinity and as always the real part of s should be greater than zero because if this condition holds then that would mean that this is a negative exponent right here so that's 1 over e to the infinity and this becomes 1 over infinity and this is just zero so that would be great. So this whole thing would converge under the condition that um, well, the, the, the real part of s is greater than zero. Okay, so we can conclude that the real part of s has to be greater than zero. And that's nice. Hmm, what else? Um, you could argue that maybe if we let t approach infinity right here, then that's f of infinity, but wouldn't that, for example, be an infinity over infinity situation? We are just going to assume that this exponential function right here grows way faster than this function in terms of t. So without any restrictions we are just going to assume that this e to the minus infinity is dominating this f of t and then we are done. So this is our solution right here. That's the Laplace transform of the first derivative of some function f of t. If you like this video please like and subscribe and recommend me if you want. Tell your grandmother if she's into math or something. And until the next video, have a flammable day. See ya.